Alright, so I'm going to make this video very quick. So I've done previous videos, but on the same subject, I didn't release them because it took too damn long. Now, there's some sort of strange misconception. Well, I wouldn't call it misconception, but the strange analogy that anarchists or libertarians are rebellious. Or even in a broader sense, anti statists are rebellious. What I mean is that try to go and speak to your friends, family, specifically parents, uncles, and grandparents. Tell them about these anti statist things, and usually you'll get the rebellious phase thing. Not as much as with me, but you'll also get the stage thing or personality. As if there's some sort of tarot for anti-statism, which there could be. But I highly doubt that real anti-statism, like the one I have, is a phase. Because <clears throat> it's not. <laughs> That's a horrible explanation. Now let's create an analogy. The common analogy you get is that... An anti-statist is to the state as a rebellious child is to his parents. And in order to make this analogy make sense, or prove that it doesn't make sense, I'll try to make it similar. Now let's say that if you rebel against your parents, uh, sorry, to a certain extent, if you say, no, I'm not going to do my chores. I'm not going to wipe my ass with toilet paper and then throw that toilet paper out. I'm going to leave that all over the floor. And you do nasty shit like that. Eventually, you're going to get your ass whooped if you're... Well, you're not going to get beaten up, but you're going to get your ass whooped. However, however... On opposite extents, with the state, they pay you, they pay some random guy to whoop your ass if you do nasty shit to the state to a certain extent. So, I don't really like the vocabulary in this video, but it's a comedy video, it's a parody. Not really satirical like most political douches. It's making fun of this analogy. So, imagine if your parents, at some breaking point, would actually pay guys to whoop your ass instead of doing it themselves. Now, I find this funny. And that's really what happens. That's what happens, man. That's just what happens. Another thing is that you have the luxury of parents. They have such a finite amount of kids that they can make. If you have like 9 to 10 to 18 kids in your household, then it sucks for you. Really, that's hard. And I can tell because it hasn't happened to me, but I know vicariously that that sucks. And food. That has to be shared, collectively divided, rationed. Now imagine, but you have luxury because your mother's ovaries and the number of eggs she can carry is finite. But let's say it's like the state, and this isn't finite. She has like magic ovaries which produce billions upon billions upon billions of eggs daily. And what you have to do is that now you have to work for your own food and then share this food with someone else who can't have it for them, who doesn't have that luxury. Let's say this kid has a disability. So you're associating yourself with billions upon billions upon billions of people. In the Dunbar unit, 150 to 250 people that you can 
recognizes people, that capacity does not reach billions upon billions of people. Or millions of people, since that's how usually states are. Just millions of people, or 300 million people like ours. There's only two I can think of that have actual billions. But it's just nasty as hell. You wouldn't want that. Okay, what else? What else? What else? Okay. For the third axiom, this is going to be the best axiom. Trust me, you'll love it. Now, parents can be somewhat like slave masters in the sense that if you leave, they could do something to bring you back. And then you'll be treated as a runaway. But with the state, if you try to get away, you manage to cross the borders, well, you're screwed because now you're going to deal with another state. Where if you go to a route, then you're going to deal with several states at once. And if you go to an important route, many, many people, and you all have some sort of crazy plan, you could get killed. If you're all trying to build some city or do something with that route because they want to keep those routes open. That means it's a and they want to keep that route with specific people that they want. Open for democracy. Open for... God, maybe. God. Not open for a bunch of douches, basically. And so to some extent, you could actually be violently or even mortally responded to. This could mean that you would either die or get seriously injured and you wouldn't be able to walk or your eyes would look really funny, really weird. You have that weird thing where one of your eyes is always open, the other is always closed. Yeah, that classic expression a classic you just got fucked up in a way that other people wouldn't be able to deal with and really a parent could either leave you alone or try to get you themselves they could kick your ass but most likely they'll just get someone to hound you back then you get that runaway label Kind of like how slaves who try to run away would get tatted up, marked up, and yeah, it's just, it sucks, but what can I say? I'm not Stefan Molyanux. I don't see parents as being this involuntarist crap. I'm not a voluntarist myself. Which might surprise you because most libertarians or anarchists or anti statists love that voluntarist label. Especially if they're capitalists. So that's my video. Um Mr. Marcus Seven or Islam Sheet or Leon or whoever they call me now. Dave Fabre, my real name. And suck my dick.